that we are going to make the ANC a regenerated organization in Mangao. We are going to change the ANC to be a real radical force of change that we want it to be. We are going to remove the organization of Oat Tambo, the organization of Albert Tuli, the organization of many stalwarts, Nelson Mandela, Chabon Beki, Six Zika Zaga Seme, from the ICU that it has been put by the current leadership. <laughs> That responsibility as the young people of the ANC. We do not need a permission from Helen Zile to amend the constitution because we brought this constitution into South Africa. There can never be a bigger defender of the constitution than the ANC in South Africa. So the ANC must amend section 25 of the constitution, so it must be able to expropriate land without compensation. It must also be able to nationalize the South African mind. We must not wait for another Marikana disaster for us to think about nationalization of mind. It has become urgent, it has become imminent. We must just start identifying the natural resources that must be nationalized. <laughs> said at the African National Congress youth leaders that the natural resources that must now be strategically nationalized as resolved by the National Policy Conference of the ANC. Firstly, it will be magnesium. Secondly, it will be platinum. <laughs> Thirdly, it will be gold. Fourthly, it will be iron. <laughs> And comrades, we are also calling upon all of you to add other natural resources. <laughs> we have also said, comrades, we have also said that Sasol must also be renationalized and be brought back into the state ownership. South Africa is a leader in terms of natural resources. We cannot move up and down the whole world researching how mining must be done when we are the leader in natural resources. The whole world must come to South Africa and look how mining must be done. We must teach the world how mining must be done. account for 80% of platinum reserve in the whole world. We account for 60% of the gold reserves. We account for many percentages of natural resources like coal and other resources. The world must learn from South Africa how mining must be done. Even these big mining companies in many other countries of the world, where they are mining, they are able to share their profits with those countries in no way a midly or a mixed economy. <coughs> in Zimbabwe, they have just agreed Zimplans to do 51% of the indigenous Zimbabwean people. But in South Africa, they don't agree with that. The Bias in Botswana has already is making sure that the profit that it receives, a certain percentage goes to the government of Botswana. We are not asking for too much as the youth leader of the ANC. We are just saying the natural resources of this country must be shared among these people. The natural resources of South Africa must ensure that they benefit all South Africans and we have a united nation. We must never be scared to stand up and speak what we think as the youth of South Africa. Because the youth are the only people who are going to serve this country. And this must never be a moment where people think that they are going to recycle themselves in the ANC. <laughs> there must be a generational takeover of the African national government. <laughs> we must be worried that we are only left with a few days towards the nomination and they have not yet been officially opened. We must be worried that even now, why can't the ANC have opened this process of us discussing names? Because the Youth League has always been ready. 
And we have never been afraid to speak about these issues because we believed from then and we still believe now that we have always been correct to see a great leader in Comrade Piglemann. We are still convinced even today that the fact that he has been there in the underground structures of the ANC, he has been there in many activities, in many revolutionary activities of the ANC, he is a long-held organizer of the ANC, a former leader in the Free State of the ANC province, a former leader of the Youth League here in the country, in the NEC, a former Secretary General of the Youth League, a former President of the Youth League. He has got credentials, he's ready to lead this organization. <laughs> and we must never, comrades, be told by anybody, those that are trying to tell us that he is too young to be a Secretary General of the ANC. Comrade Walter Sisulu, when he became Secretary General of the ANC, he was only 37 years of age, in 1949. Not in 2012. In 1949, already the ANC had a Secretary General of the 37 years. <laughs> For us to be able to modernize this organization, to meet societal challenges, to understand the youth generation, because South Africa is a youthful country. We need a regenerated African National Congress, and Comrade Marx is part of that regeneration. We must be able to tell Comrade Khalima that the time has arisen, the moment of truth has now finally arrived. <laughs> he must be able to stand up, he must be able to be seen by South Africans as a person ready to take over leadership of the <laughs> He does not need permission from anybody. We also do not need permission from him to realize that he is the leader of the <laughs> We have seen the credentials. We are convinced he has been there. He has seen everything, a level-headed leader of the African National Congress, a person of principles, a leader that has stood true to the values of the ANC, a leader that has always stood up and given a voice of reason during difficult times. That's what the ANC needs to navigate from its current quagmire. And there is no any other person who can now rescue this organization of O.R. Tambo, this organization of Albert Dituli, this organization of Pigs Liga Zaga Seme, this organization of Sol Plage, need a level person who is going to give confidence to the people of South Africa, who is going to bring back the hope of all South Africans that this organization is going to liberate them, is going to bring back a better life to all South Africans. And we want him to lead the struggle for economic freedom. We must never be afraid. We must be able to say that it's the right person to lead this struggle for economic freedom. And the youth of South Africa must never surrender in this struggle for economic freedom because it's the only necessary route that will bring a better life to all South Africans. Thank you very much.